Put your hands where I can see them. Show me your hands. This is the pigs. Show me your hands. Right now! Show me your hands right now! Scavenged, battery-powered police lights protrude from her back. The flickering light show reveals a gun in her shaking hand. Her hand is trembling from some sort of neurodegenerative disease. You shouldn't be here. Something's very wrong with her. She's completely out of control. The man appears to be pulling out an object from his pocket. Fear of the threat! Fear of the threat! Superseding event. Split second decision. Get on the ground! Get on the goddamn ground! Get on the ground! I want you on the pavement right now! This is the pigs! Subject yourself to a full body cavity search. Prohibited materials concealed in nostrils, ears, mouth, navel, urethra, foreskin, vagina, and rectum! In her mind, the cavity search is happening. As long as she is saying it. It appears the things she says are very real to her. The situation looks bad. Calm yourself. Steady your breathing. This is dangerous. You're 70% certain you always leave your gun loaded. Does she not believe you're actually a police officer? Resisting arrest! Confined quarters! Drop your head! Come in, dispatch! Come in, fuck! Civilian engagement! She's losing it. One twitch and there would be blood. It's a goddamn police shitbag! Come to payment! You're under arrest! As she waves her hand, you notice familiar looking ampoules and packets sticking out of the mountain of police gear on her back. Medicine or drugs? She thinks she's a police officer. Try treating her like a police officer, a lower ranking police officer. That's the gun. That's your gun. Please get it back. In this moment of hesitation, she almost doesn't seem disturbed, but like someone suddenly waking from a deep sleep. With a swift, poorly coordinated move, the woman slams the megaphone against her lips and teeth. A trickle of blood runs down her chin. She doesn't notice it. Officer compromise! Unlawful impersonation! Okay, she's actually more agitated now. My bad. Confiscated contraband. Restricted access. Two kilos missing. Our witness report compromised. She's frantic, confused, teetering under all that gear. There's an opening if you just move fast enough. Suicide by cops. Split second decision. Eat lead, scumbag. Oh. I see. Okay, the gun was empty. All is good. You're fine. What, what is this? This isn't police issue. Police weapons have bullets. This isn't real. Police guns always have bullets. What is this? Why did you sell me this? She looks devastated. Grab the gun. Right now. This might be your only chance. No one ever cares anymore. Why would they cheat me like this? Okay, you need to figure out what to do with her now. Nobody's ever around. Nobody ever comes to visit me. Her scratched skin 
is warm to the touch, but the person inside doesn't even know you're there. The catatonic woman, especially now that she's unarmed, doesn't seem to be a threat to anyone but herself. The catatonic woman doesn't understand, probably even hear, your kind words. She just is. It's a shame. A recognition from an actual police officer would probably mean a lot to her. Too bad she'll never know. Mr. Moran? Gareth? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Moran? Mr. Gareth Moran? The former cop turned Channel 8 crime show host? That Gareth Moran from the radio? That was the most honorable thing anyone has ever done, Harry. The woman stands motionless, just a heap of clothes and flashes now. Maybe if you search her. Please leave the radio on. Mr. Moran is on channel eight. Reflex to what? Being left alone? She stands motionless. Just a heap of clothes and flashes now. Maybe if you search her once more. The woman stands slumped. She looks catatonic under her mountain of RCM paraphernalia. It's one of those things a police cap. There were narcotics in there too. You're thinking of taking them? Do. She doesn't even flinch as you, you take the file of She didn't consume them. <laughs>